The Indian Navy has released a request for information for the indigenization of 274 types of spare parts of MH-60 Romeo anti-submarine warfare helicopters. The Indian Navy has clarified that the two MiG-29K fighter jets flying at a low altitude around 2 a.m. in Panjim Goa was a routine training exercise simulating an attack scenario. The Sri Lankan Defence Minister has said that Sri Lanka is engaged with India to set up a small arms manufacturing unit in the country. The Modi government has set a time frame of one year for rolling out theatrization. The DRDO has successfully developed a 30 kilowatt directed energy weapon that can be used against helicopters and drones from a distance of 5 kilometers. The Indian Army has unveiled a tractor based mounted ATGM carrier. Indian Army has inducted a hexacopter drone mounted with machine gun built by Ikran Aerospace. Hindustan Aeronautics will deliver the first Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet to the Indian Air Force by July this year. The follow-on order for 97 more Tejas Mark 1A aircraft worth 65,000 crore rupees will be placed by the end of this financial year. HAL's Nashik facility is expected to be operational by November 2024, which is crucial to ramp up production and deliver the Tejas Mark 1A jets on time. The Indian Air Force is set to procure around 200 advanced night vision goggles for Mi-17 V-5 and Dhruv helicopters. Indian Army has inducted Ordnance Equipment Factory developed Aerowat Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing High Altitude Logistics Drone in the challenging Himalayan region. US and Japan have signed an agreement to co-develop a hypersonic interceptor that will be designed to neutralize hypersonic threats in the glide phase of flight. The proposed collaboration between General Electric and HAL extends beyond the local production of 98 kN F414 engines with 80% transfer of technology, as General Electric is also exploring the possibility of partnering with the DRDO to co-develop a new 120 kN engine based on the F414 platform, that holds the promise of powering 5.5 generation AMCA Mark II fighter jets. By incorporating a two-stage fan with a forward-swept all-black design, General Electric aims to achieve a 10% increase in pressure ratio, resulting in a 4% reduction in specific fuel consumption, and a remarkable 20% boost in thrust compared to the current F414 engine. The gas turbine research establishment has received a new batch of dry cavalry engines built by Godrej Aerospace that will undergo further testing and certification to pave the way for their integration into the Gatak unmanned strike combat aircraft. GTRE will also integrate one of the dry cavalry engines with an afterburner section that will be fitted onto an older limited series production Tejas Mark I aircraft for flight testing purposes, and the success of these trials would pave the way for DRDO to lobby for the 90 kN engine as a replacement option for the F-404 engines on the Tejas Mark I aircraft. The Indian Air Force is gearing up to acquire three new spy planes for enhanced intelligence gathering and communication disruption capabilities. The plan involves procurement of used Airbus 319 class aircraft from the open market, that will undergo a comprehensive refurbishment process to meet military specifications, and will be equipped with cutting edge sensors and systems specifically designed for signal intelligence and communication jamming. Today's top 3 comments.